Hello and welcome again to AA Home Gardening. This video is all about my Suriname cherry. So this is four months since I purchased it. Let's see what's in the box. A delivery. It says fragile. So it's going to be something nice, I think, from a garden. Let's see. Let's do the reveal together. So, this just Look came back. to the post. Today is the 18th of February. We're still in the heart of winter. Let's see. Oh, it's so tiny. Is it going to survive? It is super, super tiny. Oh, I thought it was bigger. Look how tiny it is. Let's see if I can get it out. It's a very tiny plant. <coughs> oh no, it's super, super tiny. Uh, hope you can see it properly. It's all taped down so the soil is intact. Let me see packaged properly. It, I was expecting a big plant. And then there is a plant. Oh, it is so tiny. Can anyone guess what it is? These are healthy. Let's take off these off it. This is my Suriname cherry. So this is my little cherry plant, my tropical cherry. Hopefully, when spring comes around, it will grow into a massive plant. Look how tiny it is. So this is my little tropical cherry plant. I wanted um Barbados cherry. Just I haven't got all of that one yet. So this is my next best bet. It is well packaged. The soil is still in. The compost hasn't spilled. The leaves is in stock. And it seems to be okay. So there is now a little tiny, tiny little plant. Well wrapped. I didn't, I didn't even check the size of it properly online. I just presume it was way bigger than this. <laughs> I should have known to check these things when I buy it online. I always get caught out sometime. I just saw it and the fact that I don't normally see these um, tropical cherry as a seedling. They normally see. So to be honest, when I saw that it said plant, I just clicked buy. <laughs> I didn't even bother to double check because I've been looking for these tropical cherries for a while. And all I could find was some seeds. So when this actually came up as plant, I just put the buy button and I didn't even check the size of it. But it's well wrapped up and I really don't want to damage it. So I take my time, take it off. Oops, it is. This thing is totally, I don't want to damage the poor little tiny plant that's there. Take this off, probably. That will help. Take off the little baby. Oh, this is so, so well wrapped. Probably should have used a scissors. Probably a scissors would have done a better job. Oh. So, soil is well moist. So, this doesn't want to see any water anytime soon. Super, super. Wet. So you can see my label Suriname Cherry Evergreen RD to minus 10. So this you do just fine in the UK. You don't really get much um, winter that goes beyond minus 10 thereabout. And if I, anything, I just protect it anyhow in the winter period. So that's my little reveal of my latest collection to my tropical plant. Very tiny, about phew, one and a half inch if that much very tiny little plant 
So that's my tropical cherry delivered here to me on the 18th of February. So in summer, spring, summer, you'll see an update of this little plant. Every single leaf fell off, only leaving two. And the two leaves that were left, this is one of the original one. The two leaves that were left weren't looking in the best either. So I relocated to where the grow lights were. And you can see they're doing beautifully. And now it's also wood bound. So this is four months since I got this delivery. It was a very tiny plant, as you could see, and it was in a bad state. I've nurtured it and it has grown on beautifully. And now I'm going to repot it. So I'm just going to put it in this size container. I think this is a three liter container. Is it? I think so. Three liter. Then I'm just going to squeeze it out. I'm looking forward to my tropical cherry here in the UK. You know, these, the vitamin C and the antioxidants level are so much higher than the normal cherries that we have here. So to be able to have it grown this much in four months from the state it was at, I'm really, really proud of myself. And I think the grow light did wonders for it. So I'm going to try and tease it out without damaging the root, which is a bit tricky. So, see if I can get it out. Oops. So you can see the root on this thing. Hopefully you can see the sun is out today. But hopefully you can see the root. So that's the root structure on here. And I'm just going to put it in this massive container so you can see the main root here right there so i'm going to put it in this container here and then i'm going to fill it back to the level it was at you can see this cherry cherry seed as well right there that it came from so it's looking quite nice quite a healthy plant now from the state it arrived in so i'm just gonna fill up this container a little bit more and then so i want it at the same level it was at so put it in, press down the dirt a little, and then try to get it back at the same level it was at. And then I'll show you what's going on. So hopefully next year, 2022 or 2023 max, I should be eating some nice tropical cherries here in the UK. Well, that's the plan. See, so it's put it up in here. I'm gonna press it down just gentle, I don't want to damage it. So you can see, oh, they can see the name of Suriname Cherry. Lovely. So that's my cherry there. So I just have some normal compass here, and then I put a little bit of fish and bone in there because this needed some feeding. So I put some fish and bone in this compass. And then I'm going to water it in with some liquid seed weed because it was way overdue for some food. So now we have fish and bone, fresh new compass, and then we're going to put it, so that's it. And then I'm going to put some fish and bone in there now. So I have some just normal water. And I dilute my liquid seaweed and then I'm going to water this in nicely so you're going to be red, well fed and I'm just getting it all over the leaves because you know with your liquid seaweed the leaves will absorb it as well so I'm just getting it all over the plant and give it a good watering in so I'll leave a link to the fish and bone and the seaweed fertilizer in the description as well so if you want to use these organic plant food you can so I just water it straight in and then leave it let it drains down so that's my Suriname cherry that I've recuperated and it's now doing beautifully so I'm really impressed from the state it was at to the state it's at now so that's my Suriname cherry all repotted and growing on beautifully here in the UK. 
so thanks for watching let me know what tropical plant you're growing in your area in the uk please comment below what tropical plant fruit berries or anything what do you have in your garden that's tropical so until next time thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe and let me know if you have tasted these cherries before and if you like it okay thanks until next time take care bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell